All right, Bueller is rock in place. Do you want to go up and pet him? Oh, yeah. Hey, Missy, go on that side of him, okay? There, right there. Pet him from there. That's good. That way everybody can see what you're doing and how good he's being. So he has to stay on that dog bed until he's released. And obviously he... Nope. Place. Place. Good. So he got a little pressure for that. <laughs> We've got his collar on a 15 out of 100. You can see that. Let's get that. 15 out of 100. So when he came off a of place, I pushed on my black button here. And I held that down until he got back on place. Alright, go back and pet him again. I want you to pet him from this side, okay? Okay. Challenge him. Nope. Missy, Missy, go on that side of the dog bed. Right there, thank you, right there. Good. So I'm going to put this here in case he moves. So you can see exactly what I'm doing with my collar. Alright, come on back over here. Put pressure now. Good. Place. Nope, place. Good. So you just got a quick click there when his front feet came off. But he got all the way over to me, I held down the pressure on the collar, and he ran himself back over there. So he totally understands what I want from him. Alright, go over there by Chili. So we're going to use this other puppy as a, a distraction here. He's got to sit there while she visits those other babies. I'm going to put that up there again in case he moves so you can see what I'm doing. You'll see this little light, this red light come on when I push the button. That's the best way to tell. So I don't want him to bark, but I don't really want to correct that. So I'm going to use this button here, or the left, on the uh, the single button on the side. That's a vibration. And that just gives him a little vibrate mode. Just enough to interrupt, but not enough to really break his uh, concentration. Good. So he found that really, really exciting. So that's something that we're going to work on with him. He's up to 30 continuous minutes, by the way on place and normally he's laying down but we don't we're not uh, when, when I'm doing distractions he's up and moving around and when when we stop the distraction he'll settle and lay down and be quiet well, who did he uh, belong to he belongs to a man named Greg oh my god it's a different Greg than you know oh wow Uh, a week from tomorrow. Wow. And you'll, and you'll get another golden. No, not necessarily. Oh. He is, he is really soft. He is soft, isn't he? Oh 
my goodness. Yeah, he's a cute guy. He is cute. We got another distraction. There's somebody pulling in the driveway. So I'm going to increase his level a little bit because this distraction is potentially even stronger than the puppies there. So he was on a 15. I've just turned him up to a 20. And that's just to compensate for the increased distraction level. So far, he's doing great. Awesome. That car's already gone by now. We got the garbage truck coming. So loads of distraction for him here. He's handling it quite nicely. That is a good thing. I took that out there. That is a good thing. turning him back down because he passed that test. I didn't have to push any buttons with him. So he, he gets lowered back down on his level. goes down to Carolina Riches first, ah. and then he comes back up to us. Okay. Why doesn't the guy get drive forward? Uh, they back up because it's a tight space down there, and it's hard for them to turn around there. Oh. So that if they back up all the way, okay. then they don't have to worry about turning around down there. That little... That's a little ant. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I'm going to turn my camera off. Uh, he's got another about 20 minutes to stay on place. But there he is. He is doing great. <laughs>